Hello all, this is the lesson number 10 of the Varicad training course and this lesson is called Drawing Attributes and 2D Objects. So, first of all, to start this lesson, we need to see the, the different types of 2D objects we can find inside Varicad. The first one and the, the, the simplest and the easiest one is the line. And the line we've seen several examples before, we have different types, but we can show this as a line. This is the most easiest and basic one. Besides this type of object, we have another type which is called a spline. And the spline is a special 2D interpolated nerves curve. It is a special object and to be honest, not very commonly used in mechanical engineering. But we can show a spline like this, where we click some points over which the curve will pass. And when this is finished, we click OK. OK, th this has some mathematical stuff behind but uh, it is not very interesting and not very important to see the mathematics behind this creation. Just notice that the points you click on the screen are the points where the curve will pass. So we, the user can create a free a more or less free shaped curve for things that have to do with style or design. Besides this, we have other types of objects like the arcs and circles where we have all these options, but for example, uh, things like arc by three points where you click one, two, and three points. And this command creates an arc where this arc passes through the three points we give. Besides, we have another different type of object and it's called a point. There are several ways to create points and the easiest one is point. Point, we just click somewhere, okay? and you have created a point. A point is an entity that, is, uh, that has no dimension, it's just the location. Besides this, we have another different object called arrow. And arrow is something where we can point and, for example, make some text and create uh, a message or something to call attention for that particular point. We have another type that is called etch and the etch is a pattern. Let's try to create one. There are also different types. I've, I will just create uh, an automatic etch with the automatic uh, detection of the boundaries. And basically, if we go inside some closed boundary area, just click inside, do OK, and the edge is created, OK? We can change the pattern, the angle, and the distance of the pattern, but I will use it, some interactive things. Uh, I will just show how to create this type of, of object, uh, the easiest one. It, it's important for you to understand the type of object at this moment, not the options. Another different type of object possible to create is the text. And there are also different ways to work with this. And we have one option, the easiest one, which is single horizontal text line. So basically just create on an, an, an origin and write. Okay, let us write 
varicad and okay if we zoom in with the mouse wheel okay there is a text created here for sure also we can change the text height the font etc but please see that this is an, uh, uh, another possibility another thing we can create is a symbol and the symbol is something that Varika has already from his own libraries and we have these kind of symbols already inside so there are a lot of different kinds of families of symbols I will use for example uh, one symbol from the hydraulic category and I will choose one with insertion point and okay there is a symbol inserted okay for last I will show uh, the object which is called dimension and we've seen already some examples in the even that we don't see uh, details but I, I've already show some examples of the dimensions so at this moment we have uh, the possibility to create dimensions and the dimensions we have several types also and let us create the the easiest one horizontal just click two points one point another point and push the dimension where you want okay and these are basically the different type of objects inside Varicad. Besides all these issues, uh, we can have some things we can manage and change inside the program. So I will restart again with a new file, a clean one, and I will say start in 2D. So I have a clean sheet and with this sheet clean, I will make a rectangle and I will use the incremental coordinate. So I will create something with the 150 on the X and Y axis. So now the incremental, sorry, a little mistake. No, no big problem. This format because of my mistake is outside the, the format, but no problem. So now if I go to the tools menu and I go to the change current units, I can change the units, if you see the message, from millimeters to inches. Okay, I have some things that I must be aware, but okay, I will change for inches. And now if you see here in the lower right corner, you see that I'm working in inches, okay? No big difference, but if we put a dimension, okay, I'm working with inches, okay? I will come back again for millimeters, which are much more comfortable current units okay and again if I try now more or less the same dimension now you see that I'm working again in millimeters okay this is the first option for the attributes the thick the second thing important for you for your understanding is about the formats that we have available inside the program and again on the tools menu we have several things regarding this option the first one is this option here called change drawing format so i have a dialog box open when i go to that command and it is called sheet borders definition and i can choose which is the format I will work with and if I want to do it whenever I start with Varicad. So I have a A3 format with this wide and height, okay? 
I can change it, for example, for a A4, and you see that this format changed. Okay, these lines do not appear if I print the drawing on a paper. These are only graphical information. But again, I can change the format here for whatever I want. Besides, we have this option a little below called sheet border definition. And here I can manage some, some things. First, I can add or edit or delete the format in millimeters and in inches. Okay, I will work with the uh, millimeters. I, I will do OK. And then I can start uh, an addition of this format or create a new one. Okay, I can edit the values, I can put it behind, I can move this order, whatever I want. Okay, for example, I will, I will work with one of the formats that I don't use and I will do edit. And now I can give it another name, for example, put it something uh, not this A. I can change these values, okay, I will not do it, and do it, okay, and now I have a different one, okay. I can manage some stuff here. Basically, uh, this covers most of the commonly used formats, so we could create uh, A5 or other types of smaller formats, for example. But this is just to show a little how to manage with this. If I go there again and I will do the define sheet border drawing style, then I have some definition that I can work with. First, uh, about the trimmed frame, we can draw it or not. We can have some edges and with distances uh, on the borders, okay? For example, the grid frame, if we need the frame or not, and again, with the distances, for example, let us make a different one here. Okay, does not appear, spread view. Um, frame of drawing area, okay, if we want to have it or not, uh, center marks, again, okay, auxiliary marks, if we need them or not, cutting marks to cut the paper, the scale, okay, and the grid, if we want to draw the grid or not, with some issues about the numbers and the direction of the numbers, the fonts, etc. Okay, we can have all this stuff done. And after all of these uh, uh, de defined according to the user will, so we do OK. So we've been. Uh, make the configuration and all the definition of the format, in this case the A3, which is the one that is active. But again, this format is still not shown if we try to print it or plot it to a sheet of paper. For that purpose, we need to go to this command here, or objects menu, drawing aids, and click in sheet border. And the sheet border, now it turn it on my format that I made the configuration. Okay, so all of the things I've done previously now are shown in this format. And at this moment, if I print it to a paper, it will appear because this is something that is on the file. Okay, this is something that exists. Um, finally, to end this lesson, I want to talk about 2D drawing scale. 
and the drawing scale is something that you need to be a little careful about. First, because it will affect some entities and this drawing scale will affect only 2D annotation objects. For example, if I have this rectangle here drawn with 100 millimeters on the horizontal and 50 on the vertical sides, so if I put some dimensions on it, you can see that what I'm telling is like this, so I will show you 150. The scale is 1 per 1, but if I go to the command and say change drawing scale, I will change it to 1 per 2 and do OK. So nothing changed at this moment, but if I put a dimension now, you see that things are bigger and if I put on the other dimension also okay so this is this is important because uh, this command will affect again the annotation objects such as text dimensions symbols and arrows so it is important for you not to have this kind of situation with some things in one size and other things in other size that the all the drawing the entities uh, the parts you need to draw are done and complete before you make any changes that you need on the drawing scale okay so I think with this uh, we end this lesson. I hope to see you on the next lesson 11.